Scapoo School District, led by Superintendent Ron Alley, is not calling the 17-minute walkout a teachable moment. Instead, they're calling it an act of civil disobedience, and the kids who took part will be punished. We met with some of those kids today. They said the walkout was peaceful, planned, and they did not leave school grounds. They say they were even joined by a representative of Congresswoman Suzanne Bonamici's office. But they also say minutes before the walkout, the principal, Jim Jones, instructed the teachers to read a statement, warning the kids that if they participated, they'd be given an unexcused absence, barred from taking part in any athletics or extracurricular events that day, and they'd be ordered to Saturday school. We gathered in front of the school by the bus turnaround. Uh, I spoke, a spokesperson from Susan Bonamici's office spoke, and then it was open floor for any students who wanted to speak their mind. It was very peaceful. And I believe that they tried to scare students from having a voice, and really, as kids, that's all we have. We have a voice. I will attend the Saturday school with my pride because I did something for myself and everyone who believed in what we were doing. All right, in response to the kids walking out for 17 minutes to honor the victims killed in the Florida school shooting, the district sent us this response today saying, quote, part of adolescence is developing informed decision making skills and knowing the intended consequences of actions. Our students who participated in the national walkout did so knowing what the ramifications would be. All right, kids in baseball, softball, track and other activities were told if you participated in the walkout, don't bother coming to practice. All of them got an unexcused absence for the day and will have to report to Saturday school to make up for the civil disobedience. Laurel.